We're tracking a line of showers and severe thunderstorms pour north of I-44. Now, this line of showers and storms has produced several severe thunderstorm warnings, and there's still one tornado warning on the map for parts of Barton County. This does include cities like Barton City, Central, Irwin. This goes until 9:30. Now, you want to make sure if you know anybody in this tornado warning that they are in the lowest floor of their house, in the most interior room, staying away from windows. What the weather service is keeping an eye on is this area of circulation right in here. It's not that impressive, but it is still something to keep an eye on. Regardless, that same part of that of this line of showers and thunderstorms is also severe thunderstorm warm, capable of producing damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour, hail up to the size of quarters, and it is capable of producing some very heavy rain to cause some flash flooding as well. Something else you want to keep an eye on. Also, an aerial flood advisory for that same part of Barton County that goes until 2:15 in the morning. Let's go a little bit further north. Looks like the severe thunderstorm warning for parts like Warsaw has been expired. There is another severe thunderstorm warning that goes until 9:30. For Sinclair County, includes cities like Osceola and Vista. That goes again until 9:30. And with this entire line of showers and thunderstorms, there is of course that cloud to ground lightning and the heavy rain concern as well. What we're looking at regionally is a stalled front that these showers and storms are going to continue to ride through the rest of the overnight hours. And with this, flash flooding is still a concern, as well as some severe weather as we have seen over the past couple of hours. Now, mainly north. North and west of I-44, I think, is where the severe weather and this line of showers and thunderstorms is going to continue to train over. So that is why flash flooding is the main concern with this line of showers and storms. Here in Springfield, we're going to stay mostly cloudy. We're going to stay warm and muggy. Storms will stay north and west through the overnight hours, and that's what Futurecast will show you. We'll continue to track over that same area over the next several hours. Then what's going to happen through the rest of the overnight hours is this line of showers and storms kicks out of here, and then for tomorrow, Tomorrow, lots of sunshine and quiet weather, but it is going to be warm and humid. In terms of rainfall totals, up to an inch is possible, and then where those areas tend to see more rain, two to three inches of rain is possible. This showers and storm, this line of showers and storms is going to kick out of here. Then we're going to see near record highs as we move towards October, and that's because an area of hot and humid air or high pressure is going to move in from the south and east. That's going to bring us quiet weather and plenty of sunshine, but it is going to bring us heat. Check out the temperatures. They're going to top off in the upper 80s to near 90 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and possibly into Wednesday. Our normal high for this time of year is in the middle 70s. Good news. Is that it's not going to last very long. We are going to have a front that will come in Wednesday into Thursday. That will bring in temperatures in the 70s and also bring in another round of showers and storms. Overnight tonight, temperatures in the 70s. Storms stay north and west of the interstate. Tomorrow, if you want to go golfing, I say absolutely go for it because it's going to be a very nice day, plenty of sunshine, but it is again going to be hot and humid with temperatures in the upper 80s and close to 90 for Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday is the first official day of October. Definitely. Not going to feel like it. Overnight showers will start to develop Wednesday into Thursday as a front pushes in. But then look what happens when that front comes in. It brings in temperatures in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s, and fall finally arrives. Fall, yes. Yay. <laughs> Very excited. That fall fell off the face of the earth. Yeah, it's just taking a break. It's fine. All right. Thanks so much, Beth. <laughs>